And welcome back, everyone. Ellington here, and we are back on Total War Rome 2. And we have got ourselves a three versus three on a settlement we do not see very often called Massilia. Now, the reason we don't see this, this uh, settlement very often is due to this area right here which is glitched. You cannot walk through this area, and if you spawn troops in here, they are stuck in here. It's basically like there's an invisible wall right there, an invisible wall right there, and it sucks. Now, what that could mean for the defenders is that they don't have to protect this center road, but we'll see what happens. Let's get into some armies and some commanders. All right, for the attackers, we've got Epirus being commanded by Marty Nas, I think is how you say it. We've got the mighty Masisli with their desert legionaries being commanded by Goggins. And finally, Bowie Eye. Bowie Eye being commanded by Pro Gamer. Pro Gamer is, so I don't, it, yeah, Pro Gamer. Now, we have a huge sally out. I just noticed this. Um, we've got Kush cavalry, Kushite cavalry coming out. So we got Ethiopian cav, the Kushite royal guard. We also have Galatian cavalry with some mercenary Cappadocians, another Ethiopian cav. We've got the noble horse, and another mercenary Cappadocian. But look at this: the legions of Galatia have sallied forth to bring the battle to the attackers. Now, let's get into the defenders here. Galatia, since we're talking about them right now, we've got Yolo Swagons. Kush, as you can see, being commanded by Emo. I-M-O, I-M-O. And finally, for the defenders, we've got Egypt being commanded by the Hog. Now, you can see from the yellow border around the flag, the Egypt player is the one who sent in this battle. So this is going to be, this is already interesting. You don't usually see massive sally outs like this. I mean, this is basically Galatia's entire army. You know, he's got a triple gold chevron naked sword back here. Some Celtic skirmishers. But other than that, yeah, his entire army is outside. We've got Galatian legionaries, arguably the best mid-tier infantry in the game. They're coming up here and they want to take out this darn here Celtic giant ballista. Got Hellenic Royal Cav. You know, the Cav of the Defenders, which is not much, they're basically doing everything they can to try and zone out the, the, no, oh, talking the Cav of the Attackers, excuse me, trying to do everything they can to zone out the Cav of the Defenders. Spear Warriors here, unfortunately, getting just enveloped. Spear Warrior is not even a terrible unit to have against Cav. Problem is, is there was too much Cav. They're desperately trying to save this crew here, which they just might be able to do. You know, once they get to the kind of more protected position of their army, it's going to be a little harder for this cavalry of the defenders to do much. But they also have that Galatian army coming in. Now, this is a steep slope. No, don't charge them in. Save the crew. Oh, don't do it. Run away. Run away. Come on. You could still do it. Run away. Oh, man. This is a big boo-boo. You know, you don't want to do that because even though you may have lost this equipment, you can take that crew over here or right here to the Masasli well, not the Masasli, never mind. To the Epirus <laughs> Ballista. Same thing for the Masasli's destroyed uh, Ballista. They can take their crew over here and use the Epirus one as well. So when you lose your equipment, that, that, there's, that doesn't mean throw away the crew, you know what I mean? Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know that what bowie has got going on here is exactly the right move. They're very, very separated from their allies. Look how far they are. Epirus also should probably be shifting his army forwards here. 
But I think Bowie, I honestly probably should have just shifted his army to be more cohesively, you know, intact with his allies. Right now he's all by himself on this hill. But we'll see what happens. If he can destroy D Galatia without losing his entire army, you know, maybe something comes out of that. We have broken down some walls here. We've got a lot of breaches in the wall, actually. I mean, this whole wall right here is basically gone. They also broke a breach here. You can see a lot of the Epirus units that died to make that happen. There's no point going, Testudo. It's not going to help you in the attack. Good Javi Toss taking on some Kushite slave infantry. Got some swordsmen behind. Back here we've got some armored Shotel warriors. I'm assuming, no, just swords. Disciples of a Petamac. Disciples of a Petamac are one of those units that are fun. But they're very situational. And then a Grow Cav charging the center line. No shield wall from Galatian Legionaries. Remember, guys, your best friend against cavalry. Well, you have two. Shield wall and javelins are your two best friends against cavalry, chariots, and elephants. Um, if Cav is about to charge you, hit your shield wall. Now you got the Noble Horse General from Bowie Eye. Now, this is a risky move. Bowie Eye's general coming in. When you've got a um, Galatia General and a Galatian Cavalry coming around, but the Cav seems more interested in coming over here. You eliminate that General, and that's a big deal. Cappadocians kind of took the brunt of that Noble Horse. Now you got two of the best infantry in the game going against each other. You got the sword followers and the Galatian legionaries. It's green on green, boys. We're going to war. Yee -hee. It's hard to tell even the difference between the two of them. You also have some Osworn in here. Also taking on some Galatian legionaries. I love this big hill defense here. Hellenic Royal Cav, they look like they do break the mercenary Cappadocians here, but the Galatian general is still alive. Bowie Eye's general is still alive, but he's about half health. In the city, they've basically just given them this whole corner here. Honestly, it's probably due to the fact that they are, you know, they have an entire army out here, which means that even though they'd already be a little bit mismatched, they're even worse now because, you know, one of their entire defensive forces is out outside the city. Royal Peltis using uh, formation attack. That'd be something I would suggest getting rid of. Let these guys fight, you know what I mean? You could see, like, that's why, you know, you got guys that aren't even getting into this combat. You turn off that formation attack and it allows them to fight. So they're engaging here, but they have a unit that could slip through. They just got to be careful. They've got a sword follower here. You also have range units up on the top of the hill. Got a bunch of Celtic bows, it looks like. Cavalry from the attack or the defenders. They keep mixing them up because they're outside of the city. Coming around the back, and there's really nothing protecting those Celtic bows. Even, you know, the Noble Horse could screen, but in the end, he would just get beat. Epirus still just not doing anything. I don't know why Epirus has not advanced his army. At the moment, the only one really fighting in the city is Masesely. You've got one mercenary Italian sword from Epirus. Armored Chotels have now moved up 135, 155. That's going to be a tough matchup for the Desert Legionaries. Armored, Armored Chotel Warriors are very good. The excellent unit. And here we go. They're sending more units off to this fight over here. A 
I think Bowie I made a big mistake by staying over here. I really think that he should have just consolidated his forces with his allies. Right now he's just getting eaten up. It's a field battle now, right? So if you're going to fight this battle, you better be willing to bet that your micro is better than theirs. And as of right now, I don't know that that's the case. They are, it seems like they are pulling out or, you know, they're getting, they're killing some, right? The Glacial Legionaries are taking a lot of losses. But we is going to be decently dinged up after this. But if they can fully destroy Galatia, then that's a big hit for the defenders. Masasely making their way down town, walking fast. You know, nobody? Okay. So I think they're gonna do swords up onto that wall as well as thorough spears. Over here next to the stadium, we've got thorax swords from Egypt, thorough spears as well. Over on the right, we still have the armored Chotel warriors and then the swords here. Is that a just long shot, arty shot I see? And they're just eating through, man. Armored Chotel's 131 kills, 154 kills. A little beat up on this one. Epirus up here now with some mercenary Sam Knights. Now Galatia seems to be basically mopped up at this point. You can see Epirus sent some units over to help finish it off. Um, and I think Bowie Eye is still in a relatively good position. Um, it's a risky thing, man. Glacia now has to wonder and weigh, was it worth it? Did he, you know, did he waste his army here? You know, the Glacian Legionary might get out of this. Bounce power seems to be in the attacker's favor at this point. They got uh, Desert Legionaries trapped up on the wall. Now what they could be doing, some Cretan Archers, are they? Yeah, they are. Ooh, yeah. Good shots. So it looks like he just started firing. They could probably bring in, you know, are those Archers still? When these Archers get in, they could probably put them into the, doing the similar thing. They're basically willing Masasely to walk into this, into basically what's a, a kill box. Already coming in, getting some hits. 28 kills. Now, what I would do, if I was Masasely, I would run my artillery crew over here and get on to, where'd they go? Where did the Bowie Eye artillery go? Am I just blind, deaf, and stupid? The hell? Right here. It's like they looked like they were invisible. You guys are gonna be in the comment section. No, dude, they were right there. If I was Mercedes, I'd bring my Artie crew and get on this guy right here because that gives you that angle to get into all of this because Epirus is you know Artie is is probably pretty stretched on range at this point I'm not sure that they that they can realistically hit a whole lot more unfortunately we don't have their it doesn't give us their ranges you can see the defenders ranges here but oops Over on the right, I mean, Kush is just eating through this, guys. Now, I'm a little intrigued that they haven't pushed through behind that unit. You know, there's, I think, opportunities to be had here. You know, you have an armored Chotel. It's pretty beat up. You've got a sword. It's beat up. I think you could get some units in, especially if you had more units set up. Desert Cohort could go, you know what I mean? 
I hope that the Bowie I Must Say Silly players are watching this so that they know that you can get on to other people's ballistas. It's a good trick to know and not knowing it hurts because it, you know, you that's a 760 gold unit that you think is wasted right now when it realistically is not, you could still use it, especially once Epirus is done with his artillery. That's obviously the first thing you can, you know, you got to wait till the one person's done and out of ammunition first. It's kind of quieted down a little bit. And most of the action happened basically right here. Desert cohort in here with 120 kills, 49 men left. Armored Chotel's 200 kills. They're about to break. Here comes the Sam Knights. Sam Knights coming in. They need to block this, this here. Leave a little bit of room so that the more units can come in. Ah, too late. Now they're going to get stuffed at the breach. They really needed to, to, to grab that unit so that they could keep leave a little bit of a, you know, a gap so that more units can come in. Then especially you could put a unit there, then put a unit to support this. I think they're about to break this anyways though, so that should allow for a push here. A little surprised that Egypt's not sending a unit to, you know, block that. Maybe they're just gonna give that up and just hold, you know, against the breach there. Over on the left, here we go. Now, interesting, so the Thorax Sword actually slipping by to hit the side. Maybe the sword gonna come in and hit it frontal? Throw Spears are probably out of ammunition. Here's a big push. Kush coming in with their big hitters, bunch of armored show tells. Got the naked swords going in, 36 kills. Desert Cohort now very beat up. Wonder if the Throw Spear still has ammo. 160 man Sam Knight Warrior back here. Man, I wish Masaisley knew and would put his artillery on this. That would give them a pretty good stretch. Ooh, getting some friendly fire there. Epirus with 83, well, a little more, 84 kills. Got a bunch of Nubian bows here from Egypt. Interesting not going with the Cretans. And as you can see, we also have the mercenary Syrians here from Galatia. It looks like Egypt went with maybe one Cretan, two Nubians? Or maybe two, or I mean, uh, one and three? Or maybe they brought two. So they went two and two. Two Cretans, two Nubians. I can, I can get behind that. Desert Legionnaire just getting chopped up, man. I, I don't really know why they didn't send in this other unit to hit the the side of the thorax. You know what I mean? He's technically in, you know, attacking Testudo. But, you know, this poor unit is getting double teamed while a perfectly healthy unit is just standing there watching. Armored Show tells just, I mean, if they don't put more stuff over here, this is a big oof. That Sam Knight Warrior is not doing anything. I really don't know why Epirus, he kind of set his, in my opinion, a little bit of an awkward angle on his artillery. I think I personally would have set my artillery a little bit more this direction because then your cone of fire would be you know, like that. Right now, their cone of fire is like this. You know what I mean? Which just isn't as helpful. Most of the, you know, impact stuff is in this direction. Bowie Eye, not even resting, just, just rushing in there, man. But look at all this. Oh my gosh. Nubian bows from Kush. Just laying into this attack. Just 
cheese and crackers. Look at all those arrows coming in. Sorry, I had to take a drink there. And over on the right, oh, dude, this is, this is looking worse and worse, guys. This push is, is devastating right now. Keep moving, if you keep these units moving, you can get around this, get around this. You can keep pushing down here. There's nothing here. You know, they've got a Desert Legionary that eventually will be able to, to assist, right? But it's going to be a sec. One, he's under, fi under attack. They've got a Shattered Swordsman unit that's trapped and basically trying to get away. Fighting to the death, if you will. The one collapses. Oh, I'm stupid. Like, I don't know why I said hit that, because that's a Galatian unit, which is the Kushite ally. Duh. This is probably a good idea. Take your Levy Freeman, kind of keep this side open, and then just collapse in on the... This is bad. This is very, very bad for the attackers. This whole thing right here is about to just disappear. They probably need something else on this side, though. They're getting a little bit thin. 88 and 81. But... I guess just, you know, let the let the armored show tells eat. Feed them. 91 kills. Galatian Royal Guard now in the mix. Galatian Royal Guard, one of the best high tier units in the game. Arguably the best. Some people may argue that, that they are too expensive, but yeah, they're pretty fucking good though. 146 men with 101 kills. Already have a chevron. And it wouldn't, you know, this the the iffy thing is here, do you charge in and shut the thorough spear up, which leaves you a little extended, or do you just kind of you might just you know pull back just a tiny bit here? probably want another unit to come in and replace that right now not because he's tired or anything but because he's he's exposed to javelins and archers so you send in another cheaper unit like a thorax or one of the kushite swords to kind of be the brunt of the take the brunt of things then as combat continues to ensue you throw that galatian royal guard back in naked swords triple gold chevron charging back in they need to swap out with something 69 kills it does it seems like a waste of money to me to be perfectly honest with you i'm not usually a big fan of triple gold chevroning units um i just personally don't think you get the worth out of what you spend you, you got to remember those chevrons cost a lot you know it's a pretty pretty chunky amount to chevron your units especially to triple gold chevron you know that's nine chevrons right because three bronze three silver three gold so yeah it's a lot of money and i think they're dead i think they shattered can't find them because see, yeah, their their banner's not here unless their banner like is somewhere stuck somewhere other than that, I'm pretty sure that Naked Sword has shattered. Yeah, they're, they're gone, so... Levy Freeman also breaks. You know, I, they had this. They had this. They pulled back. You know, I think you put, like, an armored Chotel to guard... But you keep that pressure on, and you're about to lose the chance. 165, 124. That's 165 with two chevrons, by the way. You got to get in here. You got to hit this. They are getting hit by Cretan archers over here. Sorry, there's a lot going on. I apologize if I'm moving around too much. Royal Peltis. 
did they get the glacial guard out or did it die? Doesn't matter, they have two more! Or is that a royal thorax? Yep, two glacial royal guard. Then they have uh, two royal peltas here. Another good unit. They need they need some infantry. They need something up here. Royal peltas are not a, a stand in a spot, guard the you know, hold the lane area you know, kind of unit. They're a an aggressive you know, high octane, move, 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 charge in. You know, you want something with them. And you do not want to be throwing jabbies into their backs either. One fifty six out of one sixty. There's that Kushite cab coming around the outside. Glacian or this is a desert cohort, excuse me. Armored show tells. You might want to move your throw spear down a little further. Because you're kind of getting a little bit of your ally there. So you got Galatian Legionaries and double armored show tells. 198, 153. Where's one of them had like 200 something kills? Where did he go? This one now has 200, but there was one that was already 200. I don't know. This guy's at 289 with two chevrons. Down to 111, 113 men. Ethiopian cab getting into the mercenary. Rhodian slingers now. I'll be honest, the Ethiopian cab isn't the greatest cab in the world. Kushai Royal Jen uh, charging a weak unit here. All the archer fire just laying into this area is just nuts. Royal Peltis, I assume, is getting targeted. No, it's well, it's looks like the general Royal Peltis. No pikes that I've seen from either side. Oh, sworn 219 kills, two chevrons taking on an armored chotel. Got 122 men versus 102. The Osworn losing slightly. I think probably just because he's a little bit beat up already. Armored Chotel actually pulled out of that combat. Glacian Royal Guard should just charge. Just get in there. You're you're you've got a good position here. There we go. Those horns beat up 240 with two chevrons. A healthy Glacier Regard, 14 kills on the Javi Toss. No counter charge from the Osworn. Both very good units, but the Osworn already very hurt. Glacial Royal Guard is such a good unit. Now, once that collapses, what they got to do, they just got to, you know, push that direction. Bounce power, you can see, is shifted, you know, vastly in the defender's favor. This, this, this Kush move over here was the backbreaker. You know, they, they pulled this off after losing a defender and I'm not gonna lie Bowie I came out of that Sally pretty decently healthy you know what I mean and Galatia was basically wiped and they pulled this off I mean this was a a avalanche of armored show tells that just collapsed on a flank that was not ready for it Galatian Royal Guard has lost seven men they have 52 kills and almost a chevron out of that. A big push coming from the other side now. There's not much over here, right? Sword followers, 18 men, 151 kills. Get through that, the Kushite Royal Guard is already hitting the Nubian bows. It's GG, ladies and gentlemen. 
This uh, this is a GG. I'm calling it right now. They've got a Royal Peltis, you know, a couple Thorough Spears. Numidian Noble Infantry is actually a solid spear unit. They're holding this, this side decently well. Armored Chotel's exhausted, so they've pulled back a little bit. They're resting. Little surprise that we're not just getting an immediate push against this. They're winded, that could be why. Very tired, so could be they're just waiting to rest for a minute. And now here comes the push from the other side. Now, I hate to say it doesn't really matter that you're exhausted. You just got to hit it. You got three excellent units not doing anything. And it's the, the crunch time, right? It's, it's, this is the end of the game. Pad your stats, you know what I mean? Get in there. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody? Okay. I guess they don't want in on the glory. It's just gonna be army losses here in a minute, so. Ooh, that hurts. Now this Royal Pelt is getting shot in the back. 174 kills, not bad. And I think that is a GG. Just got this one unit hanging out. Hanging in there. It's getting a couple more kills before the game ends. I respect it. And there they go. All right, let's look at some kills here. All right, starting off for the defenders, we've got Emo as the uh, Kushites. 2,952 kills, by far leading the game. Um, honestly, just excellent. The Armor Chotels just eesh, doing their work. You know, they, they just, you know, cut through everything, man. 348 on one of them. The Hog as Egypt with 1890. Um, his army is still pretty healthy. You know, I mean, look at the armor or the uh, Galatian Royal Guard that are still super healthy. Archers did very well. You know, 225 on a Royal Peltist. Yellow Swagons as Galatia with 1633. The Sally Out, unfortunately, just didn't work. I think there was an instance where they he probably could have got out of it. But, you know, he committed. That's all right. So for the attackers, we have Epirus, Marty Naz, 1824. Uh, pretty, pretty solid. You know, Archers did pretty well. Two of them did. You know, um, Sam Knights did pretty good. Royal Peltis, one of them did solid. The others, not so much. Goggins as Masesley, 1739. Man, he just got obliterated by Kush. It, it just, well, first of all, he was not well supported early in the game either. You know, he went in, Epirus did not, Bowie was tied down, and so he basically got double teamed for most of the early game. And we got Pro Gamer is Bandit something. 2,293 kills. That's kind of what comes from, you know, beating a, a army out in the field. Look at the Osworn just carrying the weight, man. Well, that is going to be it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget that if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.